We're very glad that uh, both Kate and I were able to give evidence today in our libel trial. Uh, this has now been going on for over five years and uh, we hope that we'll get justice for Madeline and the rest of our family very soon. Thank you, I'm happy to take some questions. Well, I mean, I think, I think it should be very obvious to anybody who has anyone missing that when someone says that you hid your own daughter's body and uh, faked an abduction when that child is still missing and we're doing everything in our power to try and find her, I think that would be absolutely shocking to any family. You talked about, Jerry, the effect, both of you, that this has had, particularly in one incident on Sean, your youngest child. Can you just tell us what that episode was? Sure. So the first thing to say is, I also said in court, you know, Sean and Amelie are doing really, really well, but obviously they're not immune to the media. They hear things, they go to school, they hear the radio, they hear the theories, and Sean has obviously asked Kate explicitly, why did Mr Amaral say you hid Madeline? So we will have to deal with that, and obviously we are doing everything in our power, and we hope that um, the current investigation... Uh, being run with the Metropolitan Police and the PJ does lead to a real breakthrough. That's our, our, our goal, is to find Madeline. But until that day to we find Madeline and know who is responsible for taking her, we will have to worry about these questions for the twins as they get older. Do you feel you've said enough today to undo the damage that you feel Mr Amaral's book has done? There's no doubt the, the, the damage done has is, is been severe. I mean, we've got people here screaming things and if that is representative of what people in this country and other countries think, then you know, we're fighting a losing battle. I hope it's not. This action was all about challenging these assertions, which have gone more or less unchallenged. And legal action for us is always a last resort. But we were pushed to the point where something had to change. And the documentary, which was even worse than the book, was that breaking point. And we are here. Well, I mean, you, you know, we can't comment on any specific details, but what we are more than happy to say is we're really, really pleased that there is active investigation going on. And, you know, it's taken a long time. The, the Met have been reviewing things for three years. Uh, we've had uh, feedback from the Metropolitan Police. They were pleased with the way things have gone. Um, and we want that work to continue. There are a lot of lines of inquiry that need followed. And as parents... I mean, what, we're, what we've asked for all along really is that anything that is reasonable to be done that may help find Madeline and catch those responsible for her abduction is done. And as parents, that's all we're asking. And we felt there was a lot to be done. And we, we want to make it clear, you know, it is a very complex investigation. It's a huge dossier. Um, and we just want as much as possible to be worked through. Kate, what do you feel you've... Well, I think the worst thing is that we were told that um, someone in Pride de Luz wrote the parents are murderers when this work was taking place. And if that is reflected uh, in the general population, it's devastating. And that was spray painted on the wall in Luz just a few weeks ago. So, I mean, what we hope, we think you know, there has been a tremendous amount of damage, but we hope the public, the general population will see the PJ are investigating, the Metropolitan Police are investigating, they will look at it and say what the criminal file said. You know, we don't know whether Madeline's alive or dead, but there is no evidence that she's dead. And she's a missing child and she's completely innocent. And more importantly than, well, for us there's nothing more important than that, but the next more important thing is whoever took Madeline is still out there. And whoever that person is or, or persons, they must have been laughing during these last six years at what's been told in the book that there was no abduction, that there's you know there's no predator out there. There is, and he may he or she or they may strike again.
And you know, there's an unsolved serious crime and there's a series of other crimes against children which have come to light um, who've been on holiday. So, you know, at the very least, these people need to be brought to justice. We, we can't... We can't, we can't undo all the damage that's been done by Mr. Amal's group and documentary. There's been too much damage, but we can make a difference. And it's never too late for someone to come forward with the key information. And if this action helps us to reach that step, then it's a positive thing, and that's what we're aiming for. We obviously never thought seven years down the line that we would be in this situation and, you know, of, of not knowing whether your child's alive or dead and is missing. But we do still have hope, because, especially because of all the other cases of children and young women who've been taken and kept for long periods of time. And there is one thing that when, when I went to Washington very early on and went to the National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children, their chief executive said to me, the younger the child is when they're taken, the more likely they're being taken to be kept. So we don't know the circumstances by which Madeline was taken. We know it could be an awful outcome, but there's no evidence to support that. And what we've got to do is find her and find those responsible. Thank you.